for a person in extreme pain, the pain can be converted into ecstasy. A person who is starving can begin to feel its way out. And uh, same way as you get older, maybe you do in a funny way get wiser. I want to make a video on the lesson I learned from going to church. And look, I don't want to sound like I'm this holy guy that goes every Sunday. I don't. I haven't actually been in a while. So, like, don't, don't think I'm, like, crazy. I just, me and my friend went because we felt like we needed it. And it made me realize how I should go more often. Because it's like, instead of trying to figure yourself out, Instead of trying to learn yourself, watch YouTube videos on whatever you want to improve on, you clearly just go there. And it's like the lessons from there are from the most ancient textbook. I want to just mention what I've learned. So he talked about knowledge and he and he, he put knowledge as a, a woman, a beautiful woman. She's beautiful. And he stated as knowledge is very kind, very generous and very open to the people that seek it. So to the people that seek it early in the morning, to the people that seek it late at night, she will come to you if you seek her and respect her. But then he later on elaborated by saying, what is knowledge? Is knowledge how much money you have? Is knowledge knowing about the stock market, knowing math, science, what is knowledge? And he, he made a story. He didn't make the story up. <laughs> he, he stated the story. There were... 10 girls, 10 bridesmaids, getting ready for a wedding. And uh, he didn't say these exact words, but basically five were dumb and five were wise. And back then, since it was, was in the old times, the bridesmaid had to bring oil lamps, lamps to, you know, light up the room, but they functioned on oil. And what happened was the actual bride was late. The five dumb bridesmaids didn't bring extra oil and they ran out where the smart ones, they did bring extra oil. So the dumb ones went to the, the smart ones and said, can you please lend me some oil? We ran out and the smart ones said no. So the dumb ones had to go buy it somewhere. So he, the priest made a joke saying you go to your local corner store and they had to go buy it, whatever. Once they figure out how to get the oil, they came back and then the doors were closed. He basically used that whole story as an analogy of you need to be ready. God is open. He leaves the door open. But if you are not prepared, the door shuts on your face. But again, this goes back to what is knowledge. What made the girls so wise? And in the story, what made the girls so wise was that they were prepared. They were prepared with extra oil to light up their lamps. But for us, what is our situation? What is knowledge for us? And he basically just restated back that knowledge for us is following the Ten Commandments. Be kind, be loving, treat your neighbors with respect, feed the hunger, all of that. You're knowledgeable in those areas when you're prepared. That is when God will open the doors for you. And look, I don't know how well I explained that story, but for me, at the moment, it really touched me. I am kind of recording this almost a week later so again it is a bit fuzzy but it's just something to think about i don't try to push any religion onto anyone but i do try to push the the lessons the stories because that's where the true growth happens and that's where you truly learn and develop as a person stay kind and stay hustling so guys look what came in the mail today i got myself the beautiful holy bible this thing, I got the NASB, the non, the uh, New American Standard Bible. Is that how? I forgot the, the meaning for it. I think that's what it is. Something New American Standard. Um, it is so clean. It looks beautiful. The thing is, this is my hand. It's huge. It's a massive book because the writing is huge, but it is. Honestly, beautiful. I, I'm so excited to start it. Um, I, I plan on reading a verse every night and just, again, slowly learning about uh, God and my faith. So I'm very excited. I don't know if anyone's into that, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited.